So welcome to CabSat TV and our studio down here on Oasis Enterprises stand. And uh, joining me now, I have the research director from Frost & Sullivan, Vidya Nath. Welcome to our studio. Thank you, Andy. And another CabSat, another year. Absolutely. Nice to be back. Andy Thank Sean. you. And you know, good to have you here because you give fantastic insight into the figures, the statistics about what's happening in the broadcast and technology industry. That's right. Things have really moved on for 12 months? Uh, well, sort of, sort of. I think that there is a little bit of pressure because of uh, the recession, the political situation in the overall region. But there are some bright spots. Um, of course, you know, the people don't stop watching entertainment, so that's a good thing. It's just that some of them don't watch it on TV as much. They're watching it on uh, different devices, connected devices. So there's a, quite a bit of disruption because of that on the, on the TV industry really today. And of course, many people and, uh, you know, broadcasters and uh, content providers take that disruption on board and make it work for them. Free to air, pay TV, OTT, how are those things changing together? Uh, the, the change is not as rapid in this region as it is in the rest of the world. So in case, in, in, in sense of pure numbers, in terms of, you know, how many free to air channels are out there and how many pay TV view, viewers have really increased over the last 12 months, I don't think the number has changed a lot. It's just that um, you have a lot more viewers for one of the companies, pay TV service providers in the region, but the rest have been seeing a little bit of churn because uh, you know, price pressures are pretty intense in the region at the moment and there is just too many services also coming up in OTT. So the consumer is sometimes a little confused uh, on whether to take a package that costs, you know, 10 times more than an OTT service package, but when they take an OTT service package, they're not really happy and so they go back to watching YouTube. So it, it, is a little, it is quite a bit of a challenge for the market right now. And those challenges as well, I guess, go all the way down to revenue. I mean, that affects the bottom line as well. Is there any room for growth in this change? Absolutely. There is room for uh, you know, growth in, and, and also a lot of change in the market. And I'm seeing that in the conversations with the broadcasters and networks. Uh, they are slowly trying to see as to how they can expand their scope of distribution and that is the reason I've been talking a lot uh, you know, at the CAPSAT Congress about how the future is not either OTT or free to air or pay TV, it is actually hybrid services. So uh, you know, at some time over the next five years we are going to see some of these networks consolidating their strategies and uh, trying to replicate like a Comcast Xfinity model where you know, they don't say oh this is a cable service or this is a satellite service or this is a free to air service. They will try and find ways to just provide good quality content to consumers across the world uh, on any device. It doesn't matter how to the consumer how he or she is watching video. So that's that's the kind of change I, I see. But I think over the next 12 months, um, possibly it's by the end of 2018 when we will start to see some of these models uh, starting to mature and, and driving a, a, an upward investment in technology as well. And do you think there'll be some casualties in the industry as we adopt that next generation? Uh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. But uh, the good thing for the MENA region is that, you know, we've been able to skip a couple of generations in technology. Um, I think that the region is still struggling a little bit in distribution of HD, uh, which is about 30% of all the uh, television channels are available in HD, and 4Ks are already around the corner. But the good thing is that uh, the end users or the viewers are getting ready for it. So 70% of all television sets that will be sold in MENA in 2020 will be 4K and they will be smart TVs. So it is going to make that uh, transition for uh, content providers and content distributors really easy. Vidya, it's fantastic to have an insight. Thank you very much for the report and thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you.